Forces are a fundamental part of understanding mechanics. Physicists recognize four fundamental forces. The gravitational force, the weak nuclear force, the electromagnetic force, and the strong nuclear force. However, in this class, we will usually deal with gravitational forces. And we simplify these forces into contact forces and body forces. or forces that act over distance. Example of distance forces are gravitational and electromagnetic fields. Contact forces can be idealized as the force exerted between two objects. In statics, since we are dealing with rigid body mechanics, we have the rigid body assumption. What this means is we are not concerned with deformations on bodies caused by forces. Therefore, a force acting on a body can be translated anywhere along its line of action to produce an equivalent result. Newton's third law tells us for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction along its line of action. To illustrate this, let's consider two particles P and Q separated by some distance. Particle Q is repelled by particle P and particle P is repelled by particle Q. Note that these forces are going along the same line of action and have the same magnitude. So the force on particle Q from P is equal and opposite along the same line of action of the force on particle P from particle Q. In this case, this violates Newton's third law because the force on particle P is not the same magnitude as the force on particle Q, although they are along the same line of action. In this case, Although the force on particle P and the force on particle Q have the same magnitude and same direction, they are not along the same lines of action. Therefore, it violates Newton's third law. An important concept of forces is the resultant set of forces, when more than one force is acting on a particle or system. In this example, let's consider particle Q as our system where Q is attracted to P1, P2, and P3. The resultant set of forces is simply accomplished by adding all the forces up into one vector. The resultant force on particle Q is equal to the sum of all the forces um, on Q from particles PI. So in this case, it equals the force of Q from P1 plus force of Q from P2 plus the force on Q from P3. If this system is in equilibrium, the resultant force on particle Q must be equal to zero. In this example, we have an arbitrary body A with three forces, F1, F2, and F3, acting upon it. Let's use the assumption that it's a rigid body. The forces are given in the bases i, j, k as f1 is equal to 3i hat plus 3j hat plus 0k hat. f2 is 3i hat minus 1i hat plus 2k hat, and f3 is given as minus 2i hat plus 3j hat plus 2k hat. To find the resultant forces uh, equivalent to all three forces on body A, we simply use the principle of transmissibility and add all three forces together. So the force acting on A is equal to, which is equal to 4i hat plus 5j hat plus 4k hat. Therefore, all three forces can be replaced equivalently by the force on system A, 